want to aim like this. I'm gonna one on the yellow side. If you guys want to master the art of calm aiming, you first must achieve inner peace. Okay, now we meditate. Um. Nah, but seriously, calm aim is crazy strong. People get it all twisted though. Everyone be saying, just take your time with your shot. You have more time to aim than you think. Nah, dude, everyone's wrong. You die hella fast, and that's why you aim like a monkey. You can die slower if you watch my movement video. But even with good movement, you still need good aim to secure kills. So if the trick isn't to take your time aiming, then what should you do? Well, it's more about smoothness than speed. The thing is, if you take too long with your shot, they're just gonna move around a bunch and they're gonna become a much harder target. Not to mention, you aiming slow isn't gonna be what a pro considers slow. They just aim faster in general and they make it look a lot easier. So, in all reality, calm aim isn't the same as slow aim. It's more so calm aim stems from smooth aim, and the smoothness of your aim can give the illusion of slowness, if that makes sense. But smoothing out your aim is really powerful for a lot of reasons, the most important being that it's easier to track the enemy's movements if your crosshair isn't jiggling and wiggling all around. Um, this, this is going to shake your camera because obviously uh, when you look around your camera moves. Another benefit is that the smoother your aim is, the less frequent you will miss shots from micro jittering. Um, a lot of people do this and they don't even know, but if, you're sh if your aim isn't smooth enough, um, your crosshair is going to be like having little micro jitters when you're trying to aim at the target. And I mean, if it just jitters off at the wrong time, even if it's just like for a millisecond, you're going to miss your shot. And that's not very good, especially in Valorant. So both of these benefits alone are enough reason to get into calm aiming. Um, not to mention, it looks clean as fuck. Nice. Okay, so calm aim is good, but it's going to take some time and practice for you to get it to the level you want. So I'm going to give you guys an exercise and a movement tip that should make the whole process a lot more enjoyable for you guys. It's super easy, just hop into deathmatch, but when aiming, whether it's from angle to angle or just at enemies, I want all your mouse movements to be as smooth as possible. Track your corners smooth, track the enemies smooth, flick smoothly, I don't want any of this jitter shit. This alone will give your aim a more calm feel, and over time it will become second nature to do this. Now for the movement tip, move less. What do I mean by this? Well, <sighs> It's simple. The reality is most people just 80 spam fast as fuck. Like their life depends on it. They're freaking out like little mice running around on the ground getting chased by a fucking snake. But you know what? You actually have more time to stop for a split second between your strafes. So basically the split second just gives you extra time to line up your crosshair before you have to move again. And uh, this makes aiming at your enemy a lot easier. So uh, one thing I will say though here is that it, you don't want to stand still for too long or you'll be a super easy kill. You just got to get the timing down and uh, oh boy, once you do, gunfights get very fun. Just uh, try it out for yourselves. You won't die nearly as fast as you expect and aiming becomes a hell of a lot easier. This too will take some practice to get down, but it's much more basic than calm aiming and working on this movement tip should benefit your calm aiming practice, I'd say. Um, just because it you know, simplifies the aiming process, it should give your brain a little extra power to uh, work on that smoothness. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask down below. I am happy to help you guys out. Hope uh, hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Peace, you guys. Oh, you gotta kill me. Nice shot.